Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Exposed top Democrat goes to jail on weekends, still works in Congress on weekdays. For years the Democrats have claimed to be the party of the people. They've told you that they want to help the working classes and the poor. They say that Republicans only want to help the rich while punishing the rest of us. But time and again we discover another reality. Democrats make themselves rich, neglect the poor, and even break a litany of laws to do so. It seems like they never intended to make good on their promises. Being in government is just a road to wealth and fortune. Even when they're caught doing wrong, they rarely get the justice they deserve. From Daily Caller The Chief of Staff to Rep. Benny Thompson spends his days in the halls of Congress and his weekends in jail for tax evasion, after the Mississippi Democrat violated his pledge to fire his wealthy chief if the aide was found guilty of stiffing the treasury of $150,000. Isaac Lanier Avant made $170,000 a year in congressional pay, yet the court found he didn't pay any tax returns for seven years. Washington, D.C., February 10, Ranking Member Benny Thompson, DMS, questions the witnesses during the House Homeland Security Committee hearing, photo, Gabriella Demchuk slash Getty Images. Prosecutors said he was dishonest throughout their investigation, and when he did file tax returns, he lied about donating $50,000 to a religious group and tried to take a bizarre tax write-off for rollerblading. Prosecutors asked for a one-year prison term, but Avant was sentenced in January 2017 to a month-long stint in jail followed by a year of weekends in jail. How many more stories like this have to come out before we realize the Democrats are frauds? More and more we learn about their corruption, dishonesty, and downright theft. This time, a man who was calling for more taxation of the rich, was caught not paying taxes. He accused Republicans of greed for helping the wealthy, while he refused to pay his share. From a pretty healthy paycheck, mind you. But even after being convicted, his superior refused to fire him. Imagine if you were caught shoplifting from a store. If the news were to reach your job, you'd be fired. This man stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from the government. Yet he gets to keep his cushy job. If that's not a violation of justice, I don't know what is. This kind of nonsense will continue to go on.